When we return, we'll change the subject from hate to love. Love of books and their impact on children. We'll be right back. As the lyrics from the musical South Pacific proclaim, you've got to be taught to hate and fear. You've got to be taught year to year. Just as hatred can be learned, as we discussed in the previous segment, so can understanding and love. Much of that through reading. Reading as a child. Educators note that children introduced to reading early on tend to excel in school compared to children who are not exposed to language and books at a young age. My next two guests are authors of books designed to help children deal with the realities of life in quite an entertaining way. Cynthia Bardis and her children's pet detective series, Pansy the Poodle, carries the universal message that you're never too small to make a difference. She's in New York this weekend to promote her fourth edition of her popular series. Her latest title is Pansy in New York, promoting it at Bergdorf to Goodman. You both deliver very important messages for children. Let's start with you, Cynthia. I know it, it started with an accident back in 2009 you had, and while you were recovering from that, you got the idea for Pansy, which is your, uh, your toy poodle, yes. and you've done four books for children. Tell us, what, what's the basic message that your book delivers? The basic message Pansy delivers is, as you mentioned, you're never too small to make a difference. And this little toy poodle goes through four adventures finding objects that have been stolen or an animal that has been missing. And it tries to teach children to use their curiosity, stick to itiveness. And Pansy's constant companion is a little girl named Avery named after my granddaughter, who adopted Pansy, as I did, and looked at her face, and we both thought her face looks exactly like a Pansy, hence her name. So Pansy has been given love and is now giving love to the people she helps find their missing items or their favorite pets. And helping, it's a bit of a travelogue too, because each of your book has a different uh, locale. Your, it is. Your newest is New York, but you've been to Paris, Venice, where else? Was the We're going to London next year. The illustrator, Virginia Best, is halfway through it. We'll be at Selfridges in London. and. The research is very important in these books. The landmarks in New York, including Bergdorf Windows, the Statue of Liberty, Broadway, is all very true to life. So a child can look and recognize and perhaps take a trip. Paris and Venice are the same. Uh, Three to seven, also. but two-year-olds react because the cover, each cover has a dog. So if I'm doing a book signing and there's a little two-year-old, one just jumped on my lap at Bergdorf, said, read, read, because they see the dog. And the pictures are quite detailed as a teaching tool for young children and for adults. That's very key, teaching tool. And that's what these books are really about, because it's been determined that children who read early really excel later on in life, not only having the child read, but having people read to them. Now, yours, too, you were telling me earlier, uh, that also not a bad idea for adults to read this No, I had well. an interesting experience. I gave a talk to the Literacy Society, an adult society in Florida, and they used the books with adults who were unable to read and had never learned how to read because there were so many objects that were identifiable by sight, and uh, they learned a great vocabulary. At the same time, a little five-year-old Hispanic girl was given the book last year, and her mother told me she loved it so much, she memorized it and learned every uh, word in yeah. her English as greatly. So Wonderful. whatever a child finds in a book, be it a picture or words, or in Pansy's case, mostly the mystery, it helps them. It helps them to develop their, their, their learning and education and, their and vocabulary love skills. For uh, children that are on the fourth Pansy book, they can't wait to come back for it. And even if they're older, they'll say to me, now I can read it myself. Where can folks get your book? Any independent bookstore, Bergdorf Goodman, and my website, pansythepoodle.com. 
And at the end of the show, Mara said, Pansy, you are the smartest and best dog in the world. Can we be the best friends forever? Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cynthia Bartis and uh, Jana Nixon, thank you so much. Have a terrific holiday. You, thank too. you too. Thank you.